The facial cancer wiping out Tasmanian devils has been traced back to a female that died more than 15 years ago. Scientists are calling her the immortal devil. Researchers in the UK made the discovery when they mapped the genome of the devil facial tumour disease. First, the Tasmanian devil's DNA was mapped. Now the same technology is being used to better understand its greatest threat. The devil facial tumour disease has wiped out about 70% of Tasmanian devils. New research has shown it originated in a female devil that probably lived on the state's east coast. I've called her the immortal devil because her cells are still alive even though she herself is dead. Scientists believe the devil got the cancer in much the same way as a human would. What we really want to understand is how that cancer managed to survive by jumping into other Tasmanian devils by biting. <laughs> To find that out, they've mapped the genome of two cancerous tumours, taken from one devil from the state's north and another from the south. The UK Institute, where the work was done, is one of the world's best genome sequencing centres. The research was done in collaboration with local scientists. It'll help them understand how the cancer will behave in the future. Basically, an understanding of the genetics gives you, t gives you possibility to, to target target therapies. The bad news is scientists have found the cancer stable. That means it's going to exist as it is and will keep affecting devils as it is. It's not going to burn itself out. The research could eventually inform human cancer understanding. But for now, the focus remains on keeping Tasmanian devils alive. Selena Bryan, ABC News.